This is all working towards a global brain, so to speak, a an intricate network of, of data being recorded and analyzed by artificial intelligence in real time. We are stepping into an era of a surveillance state, but on a global level. This is the kind of stuff that agencies like DARPA are working on. Remember DARPA, they're the, the research arm of the military. They uh, created the internet and, and some of the most uh, important uh, technological advances of, of this generation. That's DARPA. They're working on projects like this project called Kairos. Let me read an article about this project. DARPA looks to predict future world events with AI. DARPA is looking for AI projects that can understand what's going on in the world and then use that understanding to predict the future. This will be done through the Knowledge Directed Artificial Intelligence Reasoning Over Schemas. That's the acronym. It spells out Kairos, K-A-I-R-O-S. That's their program. Kairos will help uncover complex events found in multimedia information and bring them to the attention of system users using AI. So when you read, when you, when you hear something like this, what is the purpose of this? They want to predict events before they happen. It's so that they can act on them. Like, the, like, like this article says, a minority report type of scenario using anticipatory and predictive technology comes to mind. You think about the movie, Minority Report. In the movie, they had something called pre-crime, where they were able to see, see visions of, of crimes that people were going to enact, and then they would hunt these people down and um, imprison them for crimes that they haven't committed yet. Is that what we're gonna see? Is that something that DARPA, an organization dedicated to funding government and military projects for US national defense, would do? The Kairos project echoes what the CIA announced a couple of years ago when it declared it could predict social uprising days before they occurred. CIA Deputy Director for Digital Innovation, Andrew Hallman, announced at the time, we have in some instances been able to improve our forecast to the point of being able to anticipate the development of social unrest and societal instability, some I think as near as three to five days out, literally predicting the future and then acting on it. They're setting up kind of a scary scenario here. I mean, truly, a, a global network that will be able to monitor, uh, will be able to monitor people's actions and and make predictions about what they're going to do and then what, what are they going to do with that it is a little scary to think about one day the sun when the son of perdition comes to power the antichrist we will live in a surveillance world where every single action you take everywhere you go everyone that you interact with everything that you purchase, it will be recorded and it will be analyzed in real time. Now it is interesting that DARPA has named this program Kairos. Why is that interesting? Well, Kairos is a word. It means something. It's actually a Greek word. And as you know, about 70% of the New Testament is written in Greek. So, hmm. I wonder if that word has ever showed up in the New Testament. Well, as a matter of fact, it has. The word kairos means time. Now this is interesting because it doesn't just mean time. It has a very specific kind of meaning. It's a very specific kind of time. It's more specifically an opportune time. Let me read this quote sort of describing the idea of kairos. Kairos is the qualitative time of life. The Greeks considered it the most appropriate for something new. The concept has its origins in the practice of Greek archery, representing the moment when the archer finds the perfect opening to shoot his, her his arrow and hit its target. So Kairos means, more specifically, an opportune time of action. 
which seems like a pretty name, pretty uh, fitting name for a defense program designed to essentially stop crime before it happens, uh, operating in that window, that opportune time. But kairos is used in this capacity. This Greek word is used to mean this opportune time in many places in Scripture. Here are just a few of them. Ephesians 5, 15 through 16. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time. That phrase, making the best use of the time, that is the Greek word kairos, because the days are evil. Luke 4, 13. And when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. That's that word again, kairos. And in Matthew 16, 1 through 3, this one's interesting. And the Pharisees and Sadducees came, and to test him they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. And he answered them, When it is evening, you say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the, the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of of the times, that word time in that scripture that we have <laughs> that we have quoted so many times on this show, where Jesus is condemning the Pharisees for not for knowing the scriptures, for knowing the word of God, and not recognizing that the Messiah that was foretold of in the scriptures was standing right in front of them. They were completely blind, and Jesus condemned them saying, you know how to read the sky to interpret what the weather is going to be like. But you have my word. You have the signs of the times recorded in the Holy Scriptures. And you can't even tell that the Messiah is standing right in front of you. The signs of the times, that word time there, is kairos. It is an opportune time. This Kairos program that has been created by DARPA, one way to look at this is that this program is in itself a sign of the times, a sign of the, the B system that is going to be established, that is going to surveil all of us, um, that is going to have ultimate control over our lives according to what the scriptures say. Um, but it's interesting that when Jesus is referring to these prophetic moments in time, that he uses the word kairos, which doesn't just mean time, but it means, in a sense, a time of action, an opportune time. He's saying, you have a window here to operate in what the Lord has predestined for this moment, like that archer pulling back the string of the bow and waiting with bated breath for the exact moment that he can release it and hit his target. God talks about these last days, these end times, as one of those Kairos moments an opportune time, a window of opportunity in which we have the privilege to operate in the Spirit of God and to do His work. When we talk about these times, when we talk about being watchers on the wall, when we talk about being, being aware of current events, being aware of the time that we're living in, there's no greater way to encompass the spirit of that than this Greek word kairos, which means we have an opportunity here when, when things start happening, when the Antichrist steps on the scene, when all of these current events perfectly mirror what the Word of God says. It is a testimony to the truth of his scripture that he wrote, that, well, that the Holy Spirit inspired these words to be written thousands of years ago and they are now coming true. This is our window of opportunity as Christians. And Scripture says, be ready, in season and out of season. Mm -hmm.